Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in once again and oh I haven't even closed OBS since last time I recorded. That was earlier today. But anyways, let's randomize again and see. Oh oof, yes. It's a tainted keeper run. I do love it. Bit of a risky boy. Bit of a risky boy, I'll say that for sure. But hell of a lot of fun. Hell of a lot of fun. Now this is actually a kind of hard room here. I'm glad that guy didn't manage to put out any fire, because that would have made these enemies considerably more annoying. I mean, I could try and play that sack room doing some doing some saucy stuff. Ooh, this is an interesting item. Um, yeah, I like the idea of that. I'll see if I can buy that. Yeah, I, I could be doing some saucy stuff to try and play the, uh, the sack room. It's... Okay, we got one penny on the floor. That gives me at least the first play and chance to get a penny from said player. We've also already got some red, uh, some red rocks in here, which is potentially quite overpowered. Although, as this character, we have to uh, purchase things to red ruin them. It's not as free and easy as uh, as it otherwise would be sometimes. Wait a minute, I just gotta check. Does destroying these rocks give me pennies? It does not. Okay, I just had to check if they somehow counted as enemies. Oh, I got a lot there. And then I did indeed get a penny there. So we go and do one more. And we're just hoping for pennies from this. And if possible, we can bomb our donation machine as well. Unfortunately, nothing from there. And we just keep going like this and try. Try and play this out if we can. Uh, we'll check our shop real quick. This is a pretty beefy shop, of course. Playing as this character, they do tend to be a bit beefier anyways. Lost Worm would be kind of crazy. Uh, Herming and Spectral, randomly moving tears. That that does sound like a lot of fun. Um, we'll have to see. Okay, so that's not great. I've lost a few coins there. I don't know. I kind of want my item room item, but we'll we'll kind of see what we end up getting here. Bombs do make this a bit more inviting. Um, I think we, I think we first of all, first of all, we do this. Grab that. And we, it takes a bit of time, but we're gonna, we're gonna utilize those coins there to at least get our sack room play going. There we go, one more. And we might be able to play with that red rock as well. I don't know. We'll see about the red rock. Gotta be careful of that bomb as well, that is a reflected bomb. This is going to be a bit tedious, the back and forth here, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, just because we could end up getting a really nice angel item, and even if we don't get a good item, we've got a red rune. We can suck that bad boy up early on, grant ourselves a little wisp to help us along our way. I think that's pretty decent value. Gotta remember, picking up coins like this doesn't actually add it to our total of coins, it just adds it to our HP. So we are losing money by doing this, but... Gaining the potential for something better. Okay, so now we're on payout six. Unfortunately, we did not get that one. Um, is that good? I don't think that's good because that's going to up our charge time by a lot. Um, and then with this, unfortunately, we did we didn't uh, get a little unlucky. We can try though. To get a little luckier. And we just saved ourselves a bomb there. That's nice. Okay, so we can try and get a little luckier here. First of all, let's grab the um, the broken, the cracked key, should I say. Do you know what? Let's just open there. I never really, um, like, super hard look for the... Um, look for the ultra secret room. If I can get it, I'll get it. If I can't, I can't sort of thing. I'm going to try and get ourselves the... Um, the 30 coin payout though here and we did indeed get it anyways which actually gives us a reasonable opportunity to use our um red rune if the item that we get isn't very good so let's see what we get oh it still costs okay so that actually wasn't that valuable i didn't expect it to still cost which is kind of silly of me really it's not a good item anyways um okay so we need to be very careful about that Got to use the iframes to get out of there. Otherwise, tricky times ahead. Grab that. 
Okay. We're blazing the trail. We're doing decently. We do this. A. That's what we like to see. This makes this floor a lot more promising for us now. Because now we can go and grab ourselves this. And I'm actually going to do something a little odd here. For one, I'm going to buy that trinket and at least try it out for a bit. Uh, also, we can pretty easily grab this now. Um, I'm going to try that trinket and try it out for a bit. I'm going to red rune this because apparently... Um, like, some of the modded items do have um, effects. I do not know if this is an Ipecac item. I can never actually remember um, if it is or not. But I'm going to just red rune it anyways because it's 7 cent. Um, it did delete all the coins that were around us. Didn't really think about that one. Um, and then I think we're going to take blue map. And go from there. So yeah, we, we just got a normal wisp there, unfortunately. But yeah, we have some hella weird tiers now. Because <laughs> we have two basically random worm effects. Um, intriguing. Got the northern lion boy here. Uh, I'll pop that real quick. Exqueeze me. Um, okay. So, I have a feeling this is something to do with a bug with Ipecac's latest update. Where, essentially, there is a trinket called, like, Secret Pass or something. I can't remember the name of it. By the way, these are different. Okay, they're not. Um, there's a trinket called, like, Secret Pass or something where it makes, um, it makes keepers have a 25% chance to spawn crawl spaces on being bombed. And apparently, there's currently an issue where that is in effect all the time. So, blowing up keepers at the minute is kind of obscenely strong. Um... What the fuck? Tell you what is obscenely strong. This. Oh my lord. Alrighty then. Well, that was uh, unexpected. I think getting that many solar Bethany's was just luck of the draw. And we did just get lucky. But, um, <laughs> that's kind of nuts. This has been a very successful first floor, I'll definitely say that. A very successful first floor indeed. Now we need to try and get some money here for, um... By the way, I'm probably going to use a lot of my fires quite quickly here. I, I need to try and get, um... Some money for, uh, some money. Yeah, some money even. What am I about? For... Our, um, what's it called? Devil deal. Try and save up a little bit for that. Oh, of course, there's also the shop this floor. By the way, I'm taking the risk of um, of taking damage in the sacrifice room and then just leaving because I have so many wisps to protect me from taking damage. Okay. So, we'll check this out. Got those fires. You know what? You guys can get bombed. Oh, I shouldn't have actually picked up those pennies, should I? That would have been much better off utilised. Um... What's going on with that fire rate as well? Our fire rate's going wacky. Our fire rate is going crazy. Right, keep going. Yeah, I probably should have uh, left that guy. We'll also do this. No pennies from that dude. That's okay. Okay, one more come in here. Let's grab this. There's the three coins. There's our sixth payout. Just a chest this time. Oh my god, thank god I picked up that penny then. Okay, let's quickly just move out the way here. Okay. Okay, that was a lot of wisps we just lost there, but I'm going to... Say it's okay. Don't really think it actually is. Um, there you go. Okay, we, we've been getting lucky here. We've been getting quite lucky. Double sacrifice room, back-to-back -back players. Good stuff. Lots of money. Not that we need it immediately, but it does help in the long run, really. We can uh, get some good stuff out of having this much money. 
uh, just because we can sort of get into our shop and just absolutely pummel it with money, <laughs> buy everything there is to offer. We don't need keys to get into our shop, so we can enter this. And yes, please, I will take Jacob's Ladder. Holy hell. That is very, very good. Especially with Spectral. And then let's check out what's going on in here. Filigree Feather is insane for us. Insane. Um, I think we do take Filigree. Even... It's definitely a... Oh, I was just about to say, it's definitely a difficult one, but it's not, because I can just buy this and now I can hold two trinkets. I was like, really umming and ahhing, thinking, hmm, will it really be that good? Yeah, of course it will, you fool. We can have both. Right. Quickly go back to our sack room. Now, we do have to be careful. Um, in fact, we could very easily die to... Hmm... Thinking about it, we spawn Gabriel, but we have absolutely no way of gaining back that penny. So let's not do it this floor. I just think that could be quite risky. We'll skip Devil Deals now, though, for sure. We'll go Angel Deal now that we've got Filigree. It's too good to pass up. Crack that. Here's the smelter. This thing only requires one soul heart now. Now, what I don't know is if we can smell with our money hearts. No, we cannot. We have to bomb this thing to uh, get that back out of it. That's unfortunate because we're going to miss out on a few cool things here. Um, we indeed are. Well, that's interesting nonetheless. Broken padlock could be interesting. I think we'll just stay with what we got right now. I, I really like the wackiness of the uh, of the tiers we have right now. I really want to try and keep these remaining wisps alive somewhat, just so that I can uh, use them as a bit of a shield from some of the more horrible stuff. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave that there. Uh, we'll we'll hop over down to the um, the dark dimension. Yeah, we'll go down to the downpour. Good money going down there. And we'll, we'll hope we get another sack room that we can uh, abuse the hell out of. Nice nickel. Yeah, we've get, been getting good money drops so far. No book pennies or golden pennies thus far, but nonetheless, very good stuff all around. But we're not going to be able to get any of the money here, basically. Didn't think we'd be able to, that's fine. We are losing out on a lot of our wisps via um, via just getting too close to enemies, trying to pick up the coins. It's a bit of a shame. So, Furic Acid, yet another thing that I'd love to have because we have the ability to do that. We need to be destroying these guys because it could give us a crawl space. But yeah, having uh, Sulfuric Acid here, very, very positive for us when we know where all our secret rooms are. We're going to get a lot of use out of that. Almost broke the mirror. Actually, yeah, break the mirror. I don't care. If it would fire a little furic acid tier. Okay, it doesn't actually work on the mirror. Didn't know that. Um, but we're, we're going to break the mirror. Ups our reflected item chance by a little bit, and I quite like that. This is going to be some good stuff. The Yeah, these enemies are annoying for collecting our pennies. They really are. Double nickel there, wow. Okay. Spawn brimstone beans upon taking damage um, damage scales on coins held. That sounds very good. We could get ourselves a bunch of keys. I feel like this is worth it just for the remainder of this floor. Um, and of course the coupon as an active is very good here. Oh, there's another uh, Ipecac room here. Yeah, ju just to get some extra keys out the rem remainder of this floor, this is worth it. Might not be a lot, mind you, but... Already gained two out of five cent purchase. It's already more value than we were getting otherwise.
Hopefully we get our angel deal here. We'll see. Not super likely, but we'll try it. Oh, this is quite a hard room here. Hopefully those fires spread there will uh, do us some good. Okay, should be him done. There you go. Oh, the fires went out the moment he decided to pop up. Good. We did get perfection here. Hmm, this is tough. So we'll definitely do that. Grab that. We did get perfection here. I'm not going to take it just because I feel like we're going to lose it relatively quickly. I don't feel like it's something that will stay, stay around for long. But yeah, coupon here is going to be super, super good. This is a very Isaac heavy commentary episode, but I don't know. Just This, this run's just lending itself to that. I'm not taking pills here. Eh, do you know what? No, I will. Infested. That's kind of why I wasn't, but... That half almost got me. Another tears down. And I look down. Okay, all in all, really, really negative. <laughs> all in all, just major depression, that's all. Um, Not going to go continue on the alt path here. We're good to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. No way I'm not. Wait, I almost left the wrong trinket behind. Very, very nearly did I leave the wrong trinket behind. That would not be something I'd like to see. Because, I like, as much as this trinket can fuck you over, because it does make your tears very sporadic, Spectral plus... Okay, we got this again. Spectral plus Herming is very, very good. This could be good, because we could get some pennies here, especially if they're grey chests. That's a lot of pennies. And that's... That's kind of interesting. Okay, so we're going to go boom. That's very cool. And another. I should maybe just uh, get rid of these chests. They're a bit in the way, aren't they? Um, then another. That's super cool, that is. And another. And another. Okay, can we move this knife out of the way so I can actually read what the uh, the next sacrifice payout is, please? Didn't really end up moving it all that far, did I? Uh, okay, this is six. It did give us a chest, which did give us some money. This is seven. That is indeed a uh, thingy room item, but not a great one for us. And of course, we ran out of pennies right before. I'm going to take the risk. I really regret it. I really thought that I might die here. Okay, no, I got him. I got him. I really thought that I'd get quite a lot more. Um... Oh, I just got all the flies. Okay, I see. Uh, I really thought I was going to get quite a lot more out of that. Uh, in terms of the damage of the brimstone thingies. That was very close to me dying then. Okay. We're somewhat in the clear now. But I'm not I'm not gonna do that again unless there's pennies in the room, because that we need more damage. All of these count as individual enemies, interesting. That is doubled Seraphim there. That's pretty intriguing. I do like the idea of that. I think that's definitely one that we uh, grab at. We'll first check out this. Hmm. Very interesting stuff here. God, I I'm, I'm making some risky plays here that I know I shouldn't be making. But... Let's first of all go to another room and try and get a uh, try and get the money. Uh, sorry, the the charge required for that. Don't really know what's going on with my fire rate. I'll be completely honest. We 
They seem to fire like a cluster of multiple shots sometimes. Okay, that's all of our wisps finally gone. So right, we go back this way. Do we have any way of having any pennies lying on the floor? Because that would make this significantly more pleasant on our part. Let's check in here first, because this is likely to be the best place to do that. I think we'll bomb you in case we didn't. I think we just got to take the, take the risks, to be honest. I think we make that free, take it, and then we get both. Which is very, very nice, but it's about to get a whole lot nicer. Because now we take BFF. And now we have doubled BFF Seraphim, which seems pretty insane. Now, we do have to be very, very cautious in our next room that we make sure we um, don't take any damage. Otherwise, we will perish. And, of course, it gave us a room in which it's not exactly easy to do so, but we got one. I wasn't really worried about what money I was getting there. I was more worried about survival. But that was a really, really good example of the reflected uh, the reflected things being very good for us. Didn't quite get that spiked rock there. That's fine. Just some of them. Okay, that just gave us red hearts. This is another one of the reward rooms where we kill the enemies. It gives us a reward afterwards. Okay, okay. Getting bombs is going to be very, very nice for us. Do you know what? I'm stupid. I just bombed both of those doors. Guess what, kids? I've got sulfuric acid. Do we, do we, do we not remember getting sulfuric acid for some reason? Would be a very, very helpful little thing to, uh, to have used in that situation there, wouldn't it? Would have been very helpful indeed. But I forgot. Yeah, like... My fire rate, like, cycles for some reason? It's strange. Honestly, the Seraphims are the biggest get for us. They're going to do so much damage. Seraphim's already very, very good on its own. BFF Seraphim is insane. A doubled BFF Seraphim is unheard of. Unprecedented amounts of damage. I'm not really worried about missing out on some money here and there at the minute. Okay. You get gone. Wow. Okay, the, uh, Jacob's Ladder is allowing us to do so much damage here. We got a golden penny out of that. Unfortunately, we'd get an item that's virtually worthless. Uh, like, I, I'm not even going to bother using the coupon on it. It's that worthless. We're just going to go, but we are, we are like full clearing the floors at this point. We're seeing every secret room. We're playing the sack rooms to the fullest extent. We are, we're really going for it. I like it. It's fun. Nice. Just a stone chest. I don't know how worth it that is, really. Remember, these dudes don't drop a penny for every single spider. Did almost die there. We've got to remember sometimes we're going to have uh, our invincibility from Celtic Cross. Do you know what? Let's leave all these pennies on the floor. They are fodder for a thingy room if we get one. I doubt we'll get another sack room, to be honest. We've had a hell of a, hell of a lot of them. And also fodder for situations like that, where I'm a total mung bean and completely misplay the room. But it's okay. Getting very high on the damage now. I do, I do remember I did say with the... Um, with the taking damage, like the, the beam coming from the door, it didn't do much. But I do remember it saying it scales with our amount of money. So that might have been why we experienced it doing very low damage before. Just because we had low coins at the time. This is an XL floor, actually. So we are missing out on one shop, unfortunately. Which, as this character, is devastating. Really not something you want to see at all. We at least do get a shop on this floor, though. I'm not completely missing out. Oh god, there was two of them there. Okay. Hello. I very much did not realise that at the time. Got a tinted skull there. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll grab it. 
Okay, I've got roly polies. We no longer need to pick up money anymore, which is not very nice. Oh, that was just awful. I don't know how I'm doing some of this stuff, you know. Do you know what? Full card back to here, just to make this quicker. Getting hit by some really dumb stuff. Really, really dumb stuff. Oh, beautiful. Missed out on a lot of that money there, but otherwise, fine. Do you know what? I'm just going to Hermit card. Um... 50% chance to spawn similar drops for items, consumables, chests, 50% chance to remove. Hmm. Eh, I don't think that's that good. Uh, reveals the map after enough rooms have been explored. Also triggers upon pickup. That seems decent enough. And the rest of these are, um, are actives, aren't they? Tell you what, though, I think I'm going to take this over my Filigree Feather. Because Filigree Feather is great, but it's proving to be very hard to use. And this could be incredibly good. I mean, that's also really good right there. Got another one of those crawl spaces here. Bumble Bombs is not that worthwhile, I wouldn't say. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's not that worthwhile. Also, I realized I didn't use my, um, another crawl space. I realized I didn't use my, uh, coupon, but I don't think I needed it in that shop, really. I only wanted, like, a few specific things. And we're back up to 99 now, anyways, pretty much. But yeah, picking up a penny can give us a 25% chance at a burn orbital, which is, like, the, you can see actually one of them's hovering around us now. I think that's going to be pretty valuable for us. We're going to be picking up a lot of coins. Apparently we're missing an enemy over here. Oh, it's one of you. The little sweet roll boy. Fat or push room, that will lower our speed a little bit. Yeah, let's just grab it. Why not? The speed down is annoying, but not an annoying enough to outweigh the... Oh, that. It's going to be so dumb, but I just got to. It's going to be so stupid. You, you just, you, you're ready for how dumb this is about to get. Are y'all ready for how dumb this is about to get? I don't know why I took that, by the way. I have no need to buy that battery whatsoever. But there's going to be enemies being pulled in just the weirdest, strangest, wackiest directions. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I'm on, I'm like completely on board for the ride. It is going to be a wild one, but I am completely on board for it. And we're getting a lot of burn orbitals already here. Nice. Look at that. Look how many we've got already. This is a very, very strong trinket for this character. Like I said, I think it's genuinely stronger than filigree. We're going to have a, an essentially constant burn orbital sweep. Slightly annoying room here, but not one that I haven't done before. With that, with that speed, it's not great, though. Um, spawns a pickup sack upon entering secret room. That's also very good, but not quite what we're looking for right now. God damn, Seraphim. You are popping off. Doing so much damage. And we get the pentagram out of this as well. Hell yes. Right. Careful for the feetsies. And honestly, that. That was kind of tricky, that. But yeah, for a little bit at least, we're going to have a pretty good time get, staying open projectiles. I'm pretty sure we had Blue Baby here. Yeah, we did. We'll take that. And we can afford both of these. Obviously, having Filigree Feather right now would have been great. Um, I think I'll just take that for now. 
doubles our damage. Yeah, having Filigree Feather at this moment would have been really nice, but I, I do think the Burn Orbitals are going to pay dividends in the end. Unless we'd have got something insane like Sacred Heart from that. Like, obviously in that situation, it's not as good. Oh god, oh god, just, just, just let me out. I, I was going to go to the second secret room, I no longer care. But yeah, this double damage is going to be pretty insane. Pretty insane. I do have a lot of keys, but I don't really think I'm willing to give the ones that I have up at all. This has just been a really fun run start to finish. And like, I think, I think anyone that's like not a big fan of, of like the reflected um, items, I should show them that moment and just say like, hey, look, this is the sort of sweet ass shit that you'd be able to do. If you got, if you just like took the time to get used to them, I know there's not a lot of people out there that don't like them. Some people, it was more like a knee-jerk reaction to not liking them than anything. Okay, we can we can actually go into our devil deals now. This is some good stuff. I definitely don't want to use the altar. I, ha I was just about to say, I hope it doesn't give me the altar. But, saying that, I'm fully willing to take Abyss and use it on both of those. <laughs> and that puts us in a pretty good spot. Um, and now we've got the ocular thingy and um, the Abyss item itself, which is very, very good. Ooh, a bed here. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do much for us, actually. Uh, I'm just going to try and get a crawl space here. Sad times. This is such a wacky run. Go! Seek and destroy! <laughs> oh, Stranger Tractor just made it even wackier as well. It was already pretty wacky, but Stranger Tractor up to the ante. Should I be careful about that? Our penny's been like dragged all over the place. That's a pretty big concern that I didn't really consider when picking up the item. Our pennies are going to get moved. Right. I always forget that Stranger Tracks inherently works on your bombs. The good thing is, the Ocular Rift is going to then pull in all of the uh, pennies into one firm location. Okay. I think I picked up a dime then. Reflected bomb. Don't really care so much. Okay. We're getting back up to a decent amount of money now. I just kind of want the high money so that our laser beams do a lot of damage. From the uh, thingy item. Ugh. People that make rooms using these turrets need to just rethink... Everything they've ever become and everything they ever will be. Hate these turrets so much. I'm stupid. Thank God I have the burn orbitals there. I don't need. I don't need to bomb out. I've got sulfuric acid. I keep forgetting that. Sulfuric acid is OP as shit. Right. You will be taken out in just one or two hits. There you go. We will not be going to the void. I I would consider doing hush, but I just don't think it's a situation that we can rely on ourselves not getting hit for that amount of time. Also, I don't know why, but we're getting Explorer's Instinct immediately every time. I think it's because we've paired it with blue map and there's some either I don't know if it's an intended or like some strange interaction between those two. Um, we will definitely buy this. Wavy cap. To be fair, wavy cap's a pretty interesting one to get um, a fly for. I have no idea what the wavy cap one does, but it looks weird. I'll tell you that. It at least looks weird. And that's something I can stand for. Right. Don't really need too much more money now. I mean, obviously, when that happens, <laughs> we'll take it all. 
That was pretty cool. <laughs> and the second secret room, we get Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Don't really care about either of those. Let's just fight our boss. I'm just going to pop my uh, Devil card in here as well. We probably won't get hit, but I don't want to call it yet. I'm learning how to fight this guy a little better recently. I kind of know where to stand now to not get hit by certain attacks. There you go. 99 once more. And we'll see what our four chests entail for us. I'm sure it'll be something pretty, pretty spicy. Juna. So, actually, some pretty pretty big trash here. Um, I'll take... Do you know what? I should have just sucked up the trail, I'll be honest. Um, Juno. Tears that hit an enemy have a chance to chain them down to the nearest enemy, preventing them from acting. Very cool. Oh, I see. That's a very, very interesting item. I like the idea behind that one a lot. Um... We're not going to need much of our money anymore, so let's uh, play the hell out of this guy. Just give us some HP. Don't know what I'd need that for, but I'll, I'll keep it there just in case. You never know. I love the fact that we managed to keep this, like, wavy tier effect thing throughout the entire run. Um, I'm in a bad spot right now. I got hit and I don't know. I didn't know what, by what. These enemies are treacherous for us. That's a really, really cool tier effect. Seems very strong, but it is a tier 4, so... That's not a bad thing. I'm pretty sure we're meant to be going up this way, so I'm going to continue to go up this way. Oh, that damage. That big oof. Steam sale, little bit too late, I'll admit. Little bit too late, but I'll take you. Good effort. Right, how's this? Okay, this is a much weaker room. This, this this here is a much weaker room. I can stand for that. Right, check out this as well. Just a heart with literally nothing else in it. Okay. I'm not sure which mod it is that's adding all of these uh, weird second secret rooms, but I don't know. They're interesting. They've got some charm to them. Oh my god, I immediately locked that man down. The burn orbitals are coming in so clutch. I got Explorer's Instinct just now. What the hell? Oh, a tear's down. Thanks for that this late in. Okay, so this guy getting dragged around could be problematic. I'm just going to throw some bombs in there, see what happens. There you go, we got him. Nice little finish to that run there. A very, very good run indeed. We managed to absolutely min-max the hell out of those first few floors. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.